Hi, fourth graders, it's Mrs. Hall. I am going to read the passage that you guys have for your work next week. This is actually our last week of instruction. So um, it's, you know, be very happy about that because it's been a little difficult, I think, through all of this distance learning. But this is our last week. You have a passage called Trying Something New. And the cool thing is you're going to actually read this passage every single day and then answer different questions every single day. Okay. And so I know that it's easy to just say, oh, I read that yesterday. Let me just answer the questions. But I do want you guys to read the passage every day because every time you read it, you might remember different information or understand it a little bit differently. So I do want you to read it every single day. And um, to make it a little bit easier, I'm actually reading it to you today so that you can just follow along while I'm reading it if you want to do that every day instead of reading it yourself. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and read this for you guys. So here we go. Trying something new. Right after Thanksgiving, Maria's grandmother came to visit from Mexico. Maria was thrilled. I'm making tamales with my grandmother this weekend, Maria told her friends during lunch. You two should come over. Homemade tamales are the most wonderful things in the world. Aren't tamales spicy, said Brittany. I don't eat hot peppers. Maria shook her head. You haven't tasted my grandmother's tamales. She makes ones with pork, ones with chicken, ones with refried beans. She cooks all sorts of tamales, and I love them all. But what's even better is that my family has a party to make them. You have a party to cook, said Jackie. My mother and I make cookies together sometimes. It's fun, but I wouldn't call it a party. All of my aunts and cousins come and we work in the kitchen with grandmother. We sing songs and tell stories and make tamales. I wish I could join you, but I'll be at my cousin's wedding, said Brittany. I'm free, said Jackie. I can't wait to see what it's like with all those people in your kitchen. It takes a lot of hands to make a good tamale, my grandmother says, said Maria. After all the talk about tamales, their leftover turkey sandwiches seemed very boring. Your grandmother doesn't make turkey tamales, does she? asked Brittany. I am so tired of turkey. No, said Maria, not turkey. <clears throat> Your grandmother must like to cook, said Jackie. She's the best cook in the world, said Maria, and I'm going to learn to cook just like her. On Saturday, Jackie watched in Maria's kitchen as the family made tamales. Everyone had a job. One of Maria's aunts softened the corn shucks in boiling water. Two other aunts spread masa on the softened shucks. Maria and her cousins put filling in the corn masa, and then Maria's mother and her grandmother rolled up the tamales and tied them with little strips made from the corn shuck. The tied tamales were put in a big steamer pot on the stove to cook. When I was a little girl, we ground corn in our mas for our masa, Maria's grandmother told the children. That was hard work. Would you like to help Maria now? asked Maria's mother. Maria's cousins wanted to take a break. Sure, said Jackie. Maria's grandmother showed her just how much filling to put in a tamale. Carefully, Jackie spooned a seasoned chicken mixture down the center of the masa on the corn shuck. Perfect, said Maria's mother, grandmother. Soon, Jackie was helping like one of the family. Everyone talked, laughed, and told stories while they made the tamales. It was like a party, but a busy party. The best part came later when the tamales were finally done and Jackie tried all the flavors they had made. Which do you like best? asked Maria's mother. I think I like the chicken ones because I may helped make them, said Jackie. You've learned the best part about cooking, said Maria's grandmother. Enjoy what you create.